Hey, Ryan, it's Kevin Kersley, Athletic. Hope you're doing well. Um, just, just wanted to ask you, you know, now you've, you've been coming to these camps for a couple of years now. How do you feel, you know, how, how do you feel where you are, your game is now, as maybe compared to, you know, when, when you first got here a couple of years ago? Yeah, I think I'm growing. I think I've been, I mean, defensively I've been growing. My weight's been up. I think I'm up 10, 12 pounds since last camp. So, I mean, that's big playing against uh, the big strong men and in the Western Conference if I get a chance. But, I mean, just keep learning, keep watching. I mean, I got the likes of Carlson, Burns, Vlasic practicing before me every practice. So, I go out there and watch them. But, you know, just try to keep learning and watching those guys for sure. What are your, what are your goals here for camp? I mean, are, do you feel you're ready to make the jump? Yeah, I think I'm ready. I mean, I've worked hard for the last uh, nine, ten months here, but I mean, that's not up to me. I just got to come in and work hard. I mean, I feel confident with my game and where I am. I mean, I would love the opportunity, but you know, for me, it's just coming into work, show I've made those strides in the D zone areas, and I think I've worked hard enough this summer, put on enough weight, and I'm confident. How's camp been so far? Just through the first couple of nice days here. Oh, certainly difficult. I mean, you, it's hard to get that pace in a summer hockey skate. I mean, you're coming in here to an NHL camp. I mean, your spots open here and guys are going 110%. I mean, today I lost half the tooth there, so it's been tough to breathe and talk right now, but it's just been going well. Did you catch a high stick or something? What happened? Ah, three guys collided and face on face and my visor hit my teeth. You're good to go though? You're going to be back? Yeah, back. yeah, all good. Just a little stinger. <laughs> all right, thanks. Curtis? Hey, Ryan, good to see you. Um, just curious, I mean, what was the biggest thing? I was, you know, it's been, I'm sure, you know, nine, ten months since your last game. What's what's the biggest thing you're, you're, you've been trying to sort of work on, you know, in this all, all this uh, kind of downtime here? For me, I believe it was my strength. I mean, last camp I came in maybe 170 pounds. So, you know, when you're going up against men, I mean, they can push me around and knock me around easily at that way. So, I think putting on, again, around the 182, 183 has been big for me just for battling in the corners, puck possession, and winning my battles. What's your biggest takeaway from playing for, for London last season and, and for, for Dale Hunter? Oh, he was awesome to play for. I mean, it was, it was a great time. I mean, I was really appreciative they took me in. I thought it went well. I mean, we had a great team, but I mean, it was probably the most pro-like organization I've been a part of. They really worked with me and they really knew who I was as a person. We got along great and it was awesome. Shane. Hey, Ryan, uh, good to see you again. Uh, just uh, did I hear you right? Uh, you're up to 182? Yeah, around there. One, it fluctuates from 180 to 183. Okay. And um, I was wondering, uh, you know, this camp in particular, you know, uh, is it different? Because this camp, you know, they're really, you know, you can make the team, you can make the Sharks maybe, you know, whereas past camps you were here, maybe it was maybe a little more of just experiencing it and you're going to go back to you know to the OHL so is the kind of the mental approach different this time around oh yeah for sure I mean the first camp first two camps I mean you're coming in here just trying to watch you guys learn you know obviously not expecting much as a young guy but now knowing I'm either with the Cooter or the Sharks I mean it's an exciting time it's kind of nerve-wracking but certainly difficult after nine months off to get that pace going again so it's good to get the legs under me and get going again and, you know, in your uh, first uh, couple of kind of practices here, uh, you know, uh, where have you, where do you feel like you've kind of grown in terms of your defensive game and, and whatnot? It's not being so aggressive, letting the game come to me. And then I think in the D zone, making uh, better reads and just, you know, uh, still trying to blank, but yeah, I mean, oh, hang on, re, re that. <laughs> uh, just uh, in the first couple of practices here, uh, uh, what are some of the kind of the gains, improvements that you've made in the defense in your defensive game as opposed to last year? Oh, just from making reads, getting stronger. I mean, I think those are the two big areas for me is for uh, going into the corners, right? Coming in at 182, 183 now, it's a lot easier for me to handle my own and not get pushed around by these big guys.